Well, good morning, Interbet fans, and welcome to the preview for Gravel. We're on Saturday, the 13th of May. 26 pentrometer, good to soft as the going, so that should be perfect for the horses. 8 meter false rail, that will give the horses on the outside a bit of a problem. As a result, draw is crucial. Let's go into race one, which is off at 11.10. So early start in this morning. Uh, and this is a maiden juvenile plate uh, for fillies. They go 1,200 meters. I'm going with number eight, Secret Identity. I really like the look of this one's first run. It got completely detached from the field, ran on extremely well. And uh, the talk is this filly can run a bit. So uh, with the draw in her favor, I think she's the one they've all got to beat. Richard Faree gets a ride on her. Maritania and Sweet Julia both got chances in the race. And <clears throat> Quirandi, number 11, Glenn Cotson's runner, he says, shows pace. So uh, listen to the first timers. Valley Girl, Doug Campbell says it has ability. And um, uh, Porto Zante, number two, uh, there's certainly some t talk about that. But um, I'm going with the Crawford Ricks runner, number eight, Secret Identity. Race two, 1200 meter maiden plate. This is not quite as easy. Um, and certainly there are a number of horses that got chances and they're all at the bottom of the, the, the draws. They've got the big draws. Kumamori ran a very good for, uh, first run and then not quite as good second time, but might improve again in the golf pull in mate number 10. Rafa's boy, I think it'll run very well here. Looks like a big improver uh, for Gareth Fonzell. That's number 11. And then um, have a very close look at seven bedtime story. Richard Faree jumps on this for Doug Campbell. That's always a big, big plus. You know that when Doug puts Richard for Rion, got to have a big chance. Race three, uh, maiden plate, and they go 1,900 meters. <clears throat> and the hot favorite here is Indian Ocean. The Johannesburg Raider number six from the poor match at Outfit. Very good first run. But if there are any chinks in um, uh, this one's armor, two fiery filly certainly looks like the best value in the race and I'm going to back her each way I think she's the each way better the race race three pinnacle they go 1600 meters and uh, the most interesting race I'm going to go with do it again because I think that he's the best weighted in the race he's a, the probably the best horse in the race um, and he really runs well fresh so and he's head of the speed rating so do it again Richard Faree could start off with three or four winners in the first three races so have a very close look at that and um, Union Square well he's got packed with class this horse and he hasn't really shown what he's able to do but this is a good good operation for him good race for him and he looks like a big big danger race five merit rated handicap fillies and mares and I'm going with strongly with number seven, Lily Bell. I think she's absolutely ready, this filly. I know the problem is that this might be second run, but that was um, she's that was a couple of months ago. So basically, that shouldn't affect her at all. She looks like a very nice each way chance at uh, seven to one. Rocky Reef's got very good form, but second run will it improve? That's the question. That's number one. Um, Catla Summer shows pace. Let's not linger's got some form. And Aquasulis might be the big danger because the interesting thing is, is Rachel now rides at Aquasulis. She rode at the last price, but she rode Lily Bell as well the last price. So Robert Carty gets a chance on um, uh, Lily Bell, but um, as the statistics will show, uh, Rachel certainly um, are more in fashion and in form. Race six, this is the East Coast Handicap, 2,000 meters. Now, the interesting thing here is that there are a couple of three-year-olds in the race and they don't look well handicapped. Virginia Sweet won in a canter last time um, and won a feature. She went from a 75 merit rating to a 97. That's how far out she was at the weights, but she has the form. So let's look at the top two. Time Flies and Dawn of a New Day. I think they'll both go very well here, but they've both got chinks in their armor. Time Flies rested and Dawn of a New Day second run. Sister Light is the find of the race. Five to one, I think she'll go extremely well for the Sean Terry outfit, that's number three. Race seven, the World Sports betting, uh, 1900 grade two, and uh, this is always a July pointer, and here the horses that are entered in the July look like um, number uh, three, Rascalian, and number four, Pakaya. I think they'll both go very well here. 
Aragosta might be the big improver in the race, but then be very careful of Cape Eagle number 10. If he gets to the front and is allowed to, uh, to dictate, he could be very difficult to peg back. Nice, big, strong galloper, son of Verson Jetflix. He's only found himself lately, and he's got 52 on his back. Hard horse to beat. Quasi for sure has got to give him four kilos. Number nine, he is your favorite, and he should go well too. Litigation, well, he's one of my old favorites. Race 8, Pinnacle, 1,200. I'm going strongly with number 4, the Strawberry Bear. The way it won last time uh, was very, very impressive. Um, he, he really did win a good race, and if he just carries on like that, he will go really well here. I think this seems a good outsider worth putting in. And Back to Black, the two Lafferty runners, I think, will go very well here. Black, back to Black, one from one, that's number 6. Expect him to be in the shake-up. Doesn't stop there. After the rain's the front runner. Tread swiftly, very good win last time. And then good traveller. Uh, he might bounce back as well. So it's quite a difficult race, race eight. Race nine. Mary Ray at 81. They got 1,400 metres. And I'm going with a number 10 Ponte Pietra. This was given no chance last time. Came from the clouds. And if it just gets into the race a bit better this time, He'll be very, very hard to beat. The trouble is that he does come back in trip and he's got draw 10 to overcome. So what are the dangers? Parmenian, number four, I think will go well for the golf puller outfit. Um, Captain Agreen ignore his last start completely. That was too far for it. And Adabar, good front runner, should go well here. Kingdom of Heaven, you've got to ignore his last. It might improve too. Race 10, Phillies and Mares, 1,400 metres. And um, this is a very, very difficult race to finish off with. So you've got to have a look at Dance My Lord went up eight points for winning last time. <clears throat> Hit of the speed rating, I think he'll go well. Just be nice, got great form. From the Candace Dawson operation comes down from Johannesburg. And Kanabi, other lady trainer, Wendy Whitehead, should go really well here. Morgan Lefay seemed better on the poly, and then the one at 16 to 1, which I might throw into everything, is a little all a, a little bit naughty, which did run a very good race last time. So from me, James Goodman, it's a very interesting day's racing and really good racing. Hope you have a good one.